Okay, if I'm gonna do videos with my face, I have to find where a flattering way to do it. And with this face, there may not be a flattering way to do it. Anyway, uh, I have not read the readings today. I have not read the saints today. But I have listened when I'm making breakfast, I turn on uh, the phone and listen to things uh, that I can do while I'm cooking or getting the dogs their food or cleaning some dishes or something. So uh, this morning I was listening to um, Candace Owens, who generally I like. And this is what I want to bring up. I'm, I'm a conservative. Um, and I also listen to Brian Holsworth, who I've, I think it's Holsworth. I've heard him before, but I don't listen to him much. But what he said again, while I was not fully focused, but I think the gist of what he was saying was that there are conservatives and then there are conservatives. There are conservatives who, and I don't remember the distinction, but what I think he was saying was conservatives I think what he was saying was that society does best when we have a family unit uh, father mother children and that uh, when the father and mother take care of their children it's better than the government taking care of their children um, come here Toby Toby come and um, that, that, that was what he was going about as far as conservative the country does best we've we've found this by studies that the country does best uh, children do best when there's a father and mother in the house a father and a mother as in a man and a woman not they do best not that they can't survive not that uh, you know but they do best when there's a mother and father a mother gives that perspective of a woman to her children whether they're boys or girls and the father gives his innate perspective and example of a man and the mother gives her uh infused example as a woman when uh children are raised with a father and a mother uh, which is generally what is best, they will do best. Statistics and um, studies show that uh, children with uh, one parent in the home are more likely, not inevitable, but more likely, yeah, something's going on with a bird over there, more likely to have problems with uh, addictions, promiscuity, uh, scuffles with the law. And again, we're not talking about someone whose mother or father died, like in my situation, someone who, you know, divorce families. We are, well, we are talking about, but um, what I'm saying is this is the optimum. Of course, there are divorces that happen which shouldn't happen. There shouldn't be a divorce. When you say till death to us part, that should mean something. Unless, of course, in, only in the circumstance that one person became violent and might kill the other person or injure them. So, anyway, Brian Holsworth seemed to make the point that conservatism would be, you know, I think he was saying that a, a good, strong family uh, is the best, and he was relating that to conservatism. Candace, who is a self -pres self prescribed, self proclaimed conservative, and Tucker Carlson, I like them both, and I generally like what what Tucker says, um, but then he'll say something that I just find a little crazy. Just like with most people, uh, whoever it is, I listen and go, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, whoa, now we're sounding like a racist, or now we're you know, now we're going crazy on, now that's just a crazy thing to say. But I might agree with 90% of what a person says, which actually makes sense because, you know, you're not going to agree with everybody on everything. Anyway, my, my point is, um, 
I haven't studied enough and I don't understand this Russian-Ukraine issue where Tucker seems to idolize Putin and um, uh, Candace seems to be... Stop. Candace seems to be... It's my understanding Russia has always been, and not the Russian people, but the Russian philosophy, the Russian government has been against the United States, has been for, through military, taking over areas near them, which we see by Ukraine and which we saw by the, it wasn't it Crimea? Uh, is that what it was? Yeah. Anyway, so, I. it seems to me Russia which it was the aggressor and attacked Ukraine, is, is my understanding, and has the better military, um, would be in the wrong. Now, I'm not to, this is not to say that the Ukraine doesn't have things that aren't perfect about it, but it seems like they were attacked. It doesn't seem like they attacked Russia. So I, I, I have a hard time, well... I guess it's just natural that you're not going to agree with everything. But generally, I like to lump the conservatives together. But on this issue where they seem to be divided on whether it's whether it's Team Ukraine or Team Russia, I don't understand it. I Until I learn more, I'm thinking Russia is the problem here. Uh, without being blind to the fact that, of course, the Ukraine isn't perfect. Uh, I think there's probably a good degree of corruption in a lot of those... Um, uh, Eastern countries. But when I look at Putin and I hear how he's a Christian, supposedly, and yet he's got oligarchs and he has people doing his dirty, dirty business. Um, that's not Christian. Sorry, that's not Christian. So when people go, oh, Putin's conservative. Oh, he's against gay rights or he's against whatever, I find that suspect because a good Christian wouldn't uh, be in the KGB in the first place, wouldn't have been the leader of the KGB at one point, and wouldn't be um, clandestinely poisoning people around the world. And while this guy, what is his name, Nav 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 Navanoli, whatever, who just died, now they claim it was an aneurysm. Well, excuse me, I'm pretty sure an aneurysm can be brought on by uh, other than natural, other than natural sources. Are you trying to, someone was going, oh look, it was an aneurysm, it wasn't Putin, and you were all idiots. Excuse me, are you telling me that Putin couldn't pull off an, an, uh, an a supposed aneurysm? And who's claiming it's an aneurysm? Um, who actually did the autopsy on this guy? And who, like I said, who's to say that anybody who thinks that Russia and the Russian spy system can't pull off an, an a quote aneurysm in someone is, quite frankly, an idiot. Um, no, Toby, no. So anyway, uh, those were just a few thoughts I had today. I, like I said, I generally like what... I think for the likes and for the views, some of these conservatives, some of conservatives or uh, I'm sure the uh, liberals will say things outrageous just to get more, more, what do they call it, clicks. But, okay, so anyway, I think I've made my, my position. I, I am a conservative. I do believe in the family and I do believe that people don't take responsibility for what is theirs. I did not go on to higher education. I really just wanted to get out of school and work. I had a job. I had a job in the with union wage and benefits and I was happy with that and I was 18 or 20 years old so I wasn't thinking of the future. But um, I'm not blaming the government. I'm not blaming uh, the United States or capitalism or anything else for the situation that, uh, you know, I could, would be happy to be better off financially. But, uh, you know, I made my decisions and I am where I am and I'm working a manual job. And I got what I got. I got what I asked for, basically. 
And I think too many people don't. Refu they refuse to say what is their responsibility and they just want to make it everyone else's. It's racist or it was sexism or it was capitalism or this or that. So anyway, uh, that was all over the map. And stop, Gus, no. And so, uh, yeah, uh, if anybody wants to explain to me, all I want is the facts. I don't want feelings. I want the facts. And then I'll judge whether I think Russia is more, uh, is someone worthy of being on their side versus Ukraine or vice versa. But at this point, I think uh, I'm more leaning towards Ukraine. But yeah, so yeah, um, there you go.